Wondering what phrases turn men off from talking to you or wanting to date you? Want to know the worst phrases to avoid and what he's thinking when you say these things to him? I've got 12 phrases of what you should never say to a guy coming to you right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So I thought we would have a little fun today and discuss some of those trigger words that drive men absolutely nuts when women say them. Now, I've certainly experienced all of these phrases from women I've known in one form or another in my dating life prior to getting married, and it's just never a good experience. So I wanna let you know about them in case you didn't already know. Now, I realize some of you are gonna be asking, Ryan, what about all the crappy things guys say to us women. And I just want to ask you, would you like to see a video about all the crappy lines men dish out to women? If so, just jump down to comments right now and leave me a comment saying, Ryan, make the crappy guy lines video. So that way I know that's something that you would be interested in seeing. But this video today is going to be about all the things women say to men that are just a total buzzkill. And if you guys are new to the channel and you want a deeper look at understanding men so you can find a great guy to grow closer to him, make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to turn on all notifications so the YouTube algorithm knows that you found this video helpful and can share it with more people. That helps me more than you know. So thanks so much for subscribing. Now. Here are those 12 phrases of what you should never say to a guy and what he's thinking when you say them to him. The first one is, I'm bored. You're bored? So what? What, you want me to jump around and entertain you? Like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Seriously. So clearly just talking to me right now isn't enough for you. So what, you want to go to a movie? Disneyland? Like, what do you need right now? Guys just don't need status updates like this. They tend to do more harm than good usually. The second one is, how many women have you slept with? Whoa, you really want to know the answer to that? Because I'm not going to tether that number down just so I don't freak you out. I mean, asking me if I had an STD, I feel would be a more productive question to ask. I don't, by the way. Now look, you have every right to know if this guy is gonna be faithful to you, but asking him this question can backfire on you very quickly, so just be careful. The third one is, my ex would have done blank. <laughs> oh, we're talking about exes now. Are we really doing that? Because I was just thinking that my ex would have never brought up her ex like this. Ooh, girl, I don't even want to be in the same room with you right now after this. Comparing your guy to an ex in any way is just as bad as you saying that he's short or his member is small. Don't do it. The fourth one is whatever you want. Whatever I want. Are you sure you want whatever I want? I don't think so. In fact, what I want would probably drive you crazy, so we're not even gonna go there. But what I'll do instead is choose what I think you want, since you have zero preferences, just to be done with it. If he's asking you your opinion on where you should go out to eat or what movie to watch, tell him. Just don't throw it back to him like this. The fifth one is, here, I'll do that. Ah, oh my God, I know you're not trying to take over my dish duty right now after I'm trying to be helpful here after you did all the cooking, what, my dishwashing skills aren't good enough for you? Oh, okay. And you know what, since you love emasculating me like this, tell you what, I'm never doing the dishes again. I'm done. If a guy is doing something and he's trying to be helpful, don't stop him in the middle of it like this. Almost as if you're judging his performance. The sixth one is, where have you been? So what, now you're keeping tabs on me? We went on one date and now what, I'm supposed to check in with you and let you know that I haven't lost interest in you? No, I don't feel like I owe you an explanation at all. For what, you not hearing from me for a few days? Nope, sorry, not doing that. This is a more subtle, innocent one that seems harmless, but now it just frames things where he is now beholden to you in some way way too early on. The seventh one is, is this going anywhere? It is what going anywhere? I mean, I might be going somewhere like out the door if you ask me that again. So what, now instead of seeing how things develop, I have to ruin everything by spilling my guts to you? Like, what are you looking for when you ask me that? If you're trying to ask me to be exclusive with you, then this is a really lazy way to go about it. And it is lazy. If you really need to know where things stand with the guy, then you need to be the one to step forward first with your feelings and let him know how you feel. 
What you don't want to do is goad him and now force him into a position where he has to now prove himself to you. The eighth one is, are you seeing other women? Um, okay, well, last time I checked, we weren't exclusive. Okay, so until that happens, I'm not going to get into who I'm seeing or who I'm not seeing with you. No. If you want to be exclusive, then let's have that talk. But honestly, after you ask me this now, we might have to push that talk back just a little further. Guys, I want you to assume he's dating five other women when you first start dating him. Then just act accordingly based on that information. The ninth one is, you're just like all the other guys I've dated. Okay, what the hell do you think I'm gonna say after you throw that in my face? If you don't like me anymore, then just end it, seriously. But I'm, I'm not playing this little game with you right now. I, you know what? I think I'm done. Nine out of ten times, if you say these words to a guy, you'll probably never hear from him again. It's one of the ultimate ways to just shoot a guy down. The tenth one is, you should just know. <laughs> right, because I'm a mind reader and I actually know so well that I'm going to start my own psychic hotline and I'm going to catch in on all the things I actually know. You should just know. <laughs> you should just know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, love. That's not how this whole communication thing works. You're just never going to get a positive response from him on this one because it gives him no leeway, no room to operate and smooth things out. The 11th one is, I'm available whenever. Oh, so you're just sitting around at home waiting for my texts and calls? Because that's a little unsettling and a little depressing that you have nothing else going on. Why is that? I mean, I think you're really sweet, but I don't want you always around and available for me. That puts a lot of pressure on me. Okay, bye. Limit your availability with him, y'all. Don't lie and fake it just to play games. Literally have your own thing going on. The twelfth one is, I'm fine. <laughs> I know what that means. You are not fine. <laughs> In fact, you're probably so irate so bad with me right now. Oh boy. You're fine. You're fine. Come on. I'm actually going to back out of this conversation with you right now and go hang out with the boys. Unless you really want to tell me what's going on. The word fine is just one of those code words that tells us guys that we have some serious groveling to do. We know. So now, should I make a video that shows the opposite side of the story? The things that guys say to women? Let me know in the comments right now. You can just write, make the video. And if I can get at least 500 of you that say you want it, I'll make it. Guys, if you found this video interesting and helpful, please give it a like below. Appreciate you guys having a little fun with me today. I'll see you all next week.